Hi folks, Max from Galaxy Note 3 Root.com. I've got some great news uh, for those of you with a T-Mobile Galaxy Note 3, which I've got here, uh, or if you've got Canadian Galaxy Note 3, um, you can now install GTN's N, G, no, sorry, SMN9005 ROMs, uh, the International LTE Note 3 ROMs on your T-Mobile and also Canadian. Now you can't do it the other way yet, um, but there should be a way in the future. Uh, let me go ahead and show you. I am running Bobcat ROM here. Uh, you can see my model number has changed to SMN9005, uh, but my baseband modem is still the same. And what was going to show you? Um, yeah, it's it's running just fine. And let me. Go, oh, you know what? I was going to show you my 4G LTE connection. That's what I was going to do. Uh, let me go ahead and show you that real quick. And you'll see that I'm on LTE on AT&T. And I've got it unlocked also, so I can use AT&T or T-Mobile for GLT with my T-Mobile Note 3. Um, you can also do this on Canadian Note 3 uh, with the model number SM-N900W8. Uh, I don't know how to remember all that. Uh, but the good thing with this now is that uh, before you, for those of you who've tried installing uh, SM-N9005 ROMs on your T-Mobile or Canadian uh, Galaxy Note 3, uh, you've probably noticed that Wi-Fi wasn't working, Bluetooth wasn't working, and also NFC wasn't working. Now everything now works. Let me show you how to do it. Basically there's two files you'll have to flash. Uh, basically a modify kernel, uh, which is the uh, compulsion kernel. Um, this and along with uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC fix, um, you can all flash it. But let me go ahead and show you how to install it. You can do this on any TouchWiz based Android 4.3 ROM. And uh, first, let me go ahead and power off. And I've got Bobcat ROM here, but let's go ahead and install um, another ROM. I think I have Xnode on here, I'm not sure. So go ahead and boot into your recovery. It's uh, volume up, center home, and power until you see recovery booting at the top. And I'm not sure which recovery you have, but I have clock for my recovery. Uh, twerp Recovery should be pretty much the same. Um, just install instead of install zip. Uh, I will do a factory reset real quick here. And then we'll just do a standard installation. Um, next, go ahead, go to install zip. Uh, choose zip from SD card. And I'm gonna go ahead and install the file just as normal. And uh, let's actually install, uh, let me see. Wicked now, these are all. I have Bobcat. I'm not sure if the sweet ROM is uh, gonna work. I'm not sure I download it all the way. Let me try that. No, no, it's a bad file. Yeah, sorry. Uh, let me just show it to you with Bobcat ROM, but it should work on any N9005 ROM. So I'm gonna go ahead and install Bobcat ROM, and this will install the N9005 uh, ROM here. And after that, we'll flash two more files, reboot, and you should be all good to go. Anyway, I'll be back when this is done. So that finished pretty quickly. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and install the two additional files. Um, I'll have links to the download. Make sure you copy it over to your phone, obviously. You can actually do it after you install the ROM uh, because your your uh, network still should work, just not Wi-Fi. I'm gonna go ahead and find that file, which is the kernel, N900T Compulsion Kernel. Com compulsion kernel. Um, this one, it says N900T, but it actually works uh, with N9005, uh, also with the Canadian version also. Once that's installed, we're gonna go ahead and install the Wi-Fi Bluetooth NFC fix, this one, Bluetooth Wi-Fi NFC flashable, and go ahead and install that. And that's pretty much it. Go back, reboot system now. Um, you should have a N9005 ROM running on your T-Mobile Galaxy Note 3 or Canadian Galaxy Note 3 uh, with everything working out of the box. Um, now this is still kind of experimental because um, someone someone on XDA found it, uh, XDA user Leonidas87 found that this actually works for his Canadian and then I tried it and it worked on my T-Mobile Note 3. Um, so. It should be fine, and, but if you have any problems, um, yeah, do do let me know. Leave comments on my site so I know. Uh, but I don't think you should have any problems. And as far as installing T-Mobile ROMs on GT uh, SMN9005 
that should be coming soon too. It seems like just uh, some kind of a bunch of files that you have to uh, copy over um, so make it compatible. I'm not sure why you can't just do it. I already tried it with the same files. Um, but uh, basically the problem with the N9005 is that not with the Wi-Fi, but with the actual cellular network, it just go, goes on and off like um, it's trying to look for something. So that's the main problem with it. And also NFC is not working. Uh, but if someone can figure that out, we'll have you know totally compatible ROMs. And I believe it is possible uh, since we did it to the T-Mobile. It should be not too long. And I'll have another how-to video for that. And as far as AOSP customer ROMs, uh, they should also be um, compatible. Uh, I don't think you would have to do this hack for AOSP ROMs, um, just maybe with the Samsung. I, I, that's what I'm thinking. But AOSP ROMs are, aren't really out, out yet uh, as far as the ones you can flash. Uh, but as soon as it's out, I'll also let you know about that too. Uh, but uh, this is taking too long, so I will be back when this completely boots. There we go, it booted here. Um, let me go ahead and sign in real quick and make sure everything's working. And here we go, no thanks. Next, skip, no, not now. Uh, let's go take a look at everything here. So to get your data working, you may have to wait a little bit until your phone picks up APN automatically. Um, so let's go to mobile networks and access point names. So this is not selected. Go ahead and select it if it's not selected for your uh, phone. And also AT&T, 4G LT, APNs are different. Um, the WAP, WAP singular might not work. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter it manually uh, which is basically PTA, hit save. Um, so if you're using T-Mobile, you might have to enter the T-Mobile 4G LT APN settings. Just Google it. Uh, Google is your answer for the correct APN for your uh, Note 3 or for your carrier. And I'm not sure why it's not coming up here, but give it a second and it will work. Um, and also, Wi-Fi, GPS, oops, Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, these are all working. Um, there you go, I got 4G there, I told you so. Um, so I've got 4G, uh, Bluetooth, you saw it all come out. And you'll see that uh, Wi-Fi, I pick up signals, connect just fine. Bluetooth, I'm getting Roku player from my neighbor here. Uh, and also M NFC is working. So there you have it. Um, this should work on most Android 4.3, any 4.3. Now in the future, this gets updated to 4.4. It might still work. Actually, it might work on all the TouchWiz because they pretty much use the same NFC Wi-Fi uh, libraries. Um, so it should work, but uh, I'm not sure on AOSP ROMs. I don't even know you even have to do that. But anyway, now you can go ahead and install uh, SMN9005. Uh, also works for XNote ROM also. Um, so go ahead and try it, and do let me know what you think, and now you can enjoy a ton more ROMs, as there's a ton more ROMs with SN, SM N9005, um, so definitely try it out. And yeah, that's about it, and if you have a Note 3, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxynote3root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, stuff like this. Um, you should definitely check it out. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.